North Carolina women's soccer has the most championships in NCAA history. The NC Courage have won seven NWSL trophies, the most in league history. Pat Welter has a story of the family tie that now bonds them. If we establish good habits, we're going to beat a lot of uh, teams this year, so make sure we do. In the house that Anson Dorrance built. All right, all right, way to play the game. There's another name that's starting to resonate. Just play that back all the way. Right, because you know that you know the keeper's coming. Yeah, you just know the keeper's coming. Damon Nahas is in his eighth season as an assistant coach with UNC Women's Soccer. Down and through, Teeter. Mm. I think he is a technical and tactical coaching genius, and he has a wonderful manner uh, in coaching players. But just be great. Like you can be great. Wherever Damon has gone, his brother has closely followed. He's calm, he's chill, nothing really faces him. Sean Nahas is, of course, the NC Courage's head coach. Keep it, keep it, we don't have our shape. So how did brothers from Long Island become two of the most prominent coaches in women's soccer? Ironically, the story begins at NC State. You know, I'm here because of the opportunity that was presented for me. Um, by George Sarantini at NC State. Damon played for the Wolfpack from 1992 to 96, and after his playing career, started coaching at the youth level in the Capital Area Soccer League in Raleigh. That's where Sean joined him in 2004. I knew he was going to be great, and um, he was going to be in a position where, you know, although I was established there for a while, it was about him kind of building his own name. They were able to parlay their experience in Raleigh into coaching roles with the U.S. National Women's Youth Teams and eventually their jobs today. It's just a small step in the journey that we took. It was good to have each other side by side to bounce ideas off of and be big, uh, each other's biggest supporters. And you know, not many people get to say they're, they're, they're able to do that. They don't coach together anymore, but live just five minutes apart. The demands of their schedule make family dinners difficult. It's straight chaos out here. But they know anything they need is just a phone call away. So for me, it's really being a, a backbone and sense um, through the good and through the bad. You know, we communicate a lot through text, probably more than anything. I'll come watch his games, and he knows that uh, whether on the road or home, that he's going to get a text wishing him good luck. I don't know how you guys don't have like a reality show thing following you guys. Pat Welter, WRL Sports. All right, thank you, Pat. This